Hello! Today we're gonna build a house! And we're gonna build this house using Python, TK Enter, and JK and blah 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 blah. Jupyter Notebooks. Woo! Okay, so TK Enter is short for TK Interface, and using TK Enter you can create graphical user interfaces. So today I kind of pulled out the general format of how to create shapes um, when you're using GUIs in TK Enter. And the format is if you're using a class, you're going to do self.canvas.create underscore whatever shape or whatever figure you're going to make. And then the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the other X coordinate, the other Y coordinate, and so on. There's additional features like fill or outline, and you can put the color inside that fill area. So just for some examples, these coordinates are not correct, but if you wanted to create a rectangle that's sky blue, you would do self.canvas create underscore rectangle, 0, 300, 900, 0, and fill equals sky blue. So if we come over here, and if we run this, so we're starting over here. This is the zero, the X. So this over here is gonna be zero, zero. So if you're over here, the X coordinate is zero and the Y coordinate is zero. And if we go back over to these canvas shapes, the X coordinate starts at zero and then it goes all the way to 900. So we start at zero and then we go all the way to 900. And then the Y coordinate starts at 300 and then it comes up to zero. So we start down here at 300 and then we come all the way back up to zero. Um, if you want to create a line, this is just an example of a line, self.canvas create underscore line, the coordinates of the line, the color of the line. You can also create figures like arcs and ovals, or if you want to create a circle, then you have to kind of alter the coordinates so it replicates a circle a little bit more in a little bit more of a similar way. Okay, so if we come over here, this is my code for building a house. So the first thing you need to do is import TK enter. And then I created a class, so my GUI, and then I had to create an instance of the class down here to get the program to run. And then I have the code divided into different segments on where I create certain figures within the code. So for example, here I create the rectangle for the, so for the sky, and then down here I create the rectangle for the green grass. And so if we X this out, and then if we run this again, so as you can see, the top, a bit more than the top half is blue, and it's sky blue representing the sky, and then a little less than the bottom half is green, and that's going to represent the grass. We also have a square on top of both of these rectangles, so these are both technically rectangles, and then I made a square, which to make a square, you're still going to use the create rectangle command. So if I come back over here, this is obviously a rectangle representing the door, but the square, um, so building the house structure, as you can see, it's still self.canvas.create underscore rectangle. And then here we have the coordinates, the fill color, down here, as we get a little bit more complicated, we create the cloud. So if I come back over to what the cloud looks like, the cloud has multiple arcs. And then, so to do that, I did create arc. And then to, on the bottom, to make sure the arcs didn't overlap or make some weird type of shape, I just actually added a rectangle down here. So you can see that right here. Um, so if I... X out this, and then if I rerun it, this is what is the outcome. Alright, so thank you for watching this basic video on how to create a house using TK Enter, Jupyter Notebooks, and Python. Uh, this is just a really basic walkthrough of how I did the coding and how some of the basic features using TK Enter work, um, specifically the Canvas feature within TK Enter to create those graphical user interfaces. If you would like to see the full code, I'll update my github and put it on to the github if you like this video please leave a nice big thumbs up and i think that's all okay thank you